Uh, last week we talked about, we had a crazy story in the show where these people claimed they found condoms on the bed and exposed right. wiring and it just was really insane. Um, and so I thought, well, what are the craziest stories that maybe people won't believe? Uh, the craziest Disney Parks experiences we've had that are just so wacky. They're like your, your go-to wacky story when someone asks you what's the weirdest thing you've seen in a Disney park. So that's what we're doing yeah. uh, in this segment. I know we have a couple people lined up over there uh, remotely, but I know, Pete, mm -hmm. your time is limited this evening because you're... I'm actually going to leave it on time. You have to leave at 11 yeah. to pick up somebody at the airport because you're always hosting people. Yes. Yes. You know, come on down to yeah. Pete's Airbnb. Isn't um, it... Isn't it uh, what is it? Pete Circus? What is it? <laughs> Pete Circus. That's what it is. <laughs> that yeah. was that what it was? <laughs> Pete Circus? Yeah. Pete My circus. last name is Carnival, and I own a circus. Um, I had a few, so I didn't know what to go with. There's uh, a lot of people have heard me tell the Epcot jail, but so I'm going to tell my yeah. favorite... Um, Lauren always says I have the best bathroom experiences. I wouldn't call them the best, but she seems <laughs> to find them very funny. Oh, geez. So this is probably one of my most memorable was I'm in Hollywood Studios, and we are in the bathrooms where the Olaf meet and greet is. Yeah, yeah. Right over there, just yeah. to give everyone an idea of where we're I at. I have a crazy one in that bathroom. Also. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that That's bathroom, because I have two in that bathroom, and okay. this is the better of the two. All right. I've, so. had a, I've had a two in that bathroom myself. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You pooped. Yeah. Um... So I walk into the bathroom, and a father is talking to what I assume is his son in the stall, saying, like, okay, don't worry, don't panic, I'll take care of it, just take your pants off and give them to me. So I'm, you know, I'm using the <laughs> urinal, and I see the father walk out, and he's washing the pants in the sink. Oh, no. And uh, so I go back to just, you know, facing forward like a, a good gentleman at a urinal. And I turn back, and I don't think the father realizes it, but the son had walked out, and the son is not, like, a very small child. I want to say the son is around six or seven maybe eight it's hard to judge but the son is just standing behind him fully oh. nude <laughs> behind him so the father is washing yeah the son's closed the yeah. sink which is embarrassing enough yeah. and here is a child around the age of six to eight standing right behind him fully nude i don't know why he took his shirt off as well <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense but all of a sudden, the father turns around to go back into the urinal and sees him. He's like, Jesus, what are you doing? I have, <laughs> like, kind of like a get back to your room. He's like, get back in there. I have a bad idea. There's a reason the shirt was off. And I don't think everybody wants to know no, why. No, no, no. Because the shorts might have not been the only thing that needed to go in the sink. Almost. Yeah, and you're probably right. <laughs> Someone but, had Mama Melrose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, saw him walk out of Pizza Rizzo. Um... But the, my favorite was not only just the father's reaction is I'm looking at the people who are just walking into the bathroom as if being greeted by this um, yeah. child in his birthday suit, only wearing a pin that says. I would have just <laughs> like, I would have walked in, but like, nope, and just, nope. Left. <laughs> just walked out. I don't gotta go that bad. And like gone. <laughs> so that's probably my, oh. my weirdest or most fun bathroom story um, that I could come up with tonight. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I have a little one. It's not as good as that one at all. But one of my first, so when we moved here, um, I was still like not used to the park. I was like, like I of course have been to it, but there's a difference between being to it and then like knowing your, kind of how to zig and zag through people and get used to that. So I was on Main Street and I was just walking and I was still sort of looking around and wasn't really paying attention. And uh, I got in the way of a lady on a, a motorized scooter. Mm -hmm. And I quickly went, oh, I'm so sorry, and got out of the way. But she looked at me as I was getting out of her way and she went, fool! And that's all she said to me. <laughs> And uh, it was an immediate like I've never been called fool, but like like just a like you fool. I, and was fool. it Gilbert no, Godfrey it on, a, on an ECV? It wasn't even <laughs> you fool. <laughs> yeah, and it wasn't even you. It was fool. Like just that's oh. all she said. Which I I assume I have a witch's curse on me because it sounds like uh, you yeah, <laughs> come poop. Yeah, it was very specific. But it, I was I left that experience like happier because I was like no one. I will never have an experience like that again, yeah. where someone just yells fool at me in the middle of the main street. Your ECV story reminded me real quick, I'm gonna tell one. Uh, one time we were standing in a large group, we were waiting for fireworks at Magic Kingdom. And with, one of my friends has small kids, and I see the light of the ECV. At night, you know, they have the little, the little headlight, right. and I see it getting closer. And I see it's heading towards the children. <laughs> and I see this coming, and I just like step in the way. The ECV runs up my leg. Oh. The front wheel catches the side of my leg. I am holding oh, no. the front metal bumper of the ECV right here. And I'm looking at the guy in the face going, 
let go of the handle. Let go of the handle. Let go of the handle. <laughs> and he's just like, <laughs> he's like, he's like he doesn't know what to happen. You know? And finally he lets go and I put him down and the mother, they find like this, the daughter or somebody catches up and is like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then they like help him drive away. <laughs> he ran away. That was he just saved a, quick, a life today. Just a quick one. We have a, we have an audience story. Is this mic on? Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I we could right say there. it's on, but it might not be. Yeah, I don't no, we, we don't have a camera. We don't have a we camera have a out mic. there? No, sadly. Just oh. a voice. We, we, soon we will. So we have a voice with the story. I'll it. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, so I was in Magic Kingdom. I was at Annie Gravity's with a friend. And we were just uh, chatting. And then we hear these two men in the ice cream line just start shouting at each other like swearing like f word and you're like you're in magic kingdom it was like 11 o'clock at night extra magic hours <laughs> extra, um extra, it sounds like it. <laughs> but so they were it was these two men and they were each there with like their wives and the kind of younger couple had a baby and the woman had a baby on her back oh. and what i learned within the next you know several minutes was that the man and the other couple thought that the woman with the baby had elbowed him to get to her ice cream and this was very upsetting to him so he was shouting and then her husband was shouting and then he did punch the woman with the baby in the face wow <laughs> whoa. whoa and then her husband tackled him oh, and they were no. on the ground running into everything and a coordinator ran in, this big guy pulled them apart, they called 911, the security officer happened to be walking by and just walked in like, what is going on? <laughs> and they had to like ask everybody what happened, and the one guy who hit the woman with the baby on her back, she was fine, the baby was fine. He just kept insisting, oh, you're gonna watch the security tapes back, and you're gonna see that it was her fault. And it was like, you punched her in the wow. face. You know, there's not exactly a lot of room in anti-gravities either. It's no. not like you can tussle in that no. space. That's probably how those sprinkle dispensers got knocked off the wall <laughs> that were there for two days. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's so that's crazy. I know. A woman with a baby on her back was punched by a man. <laughs> thank you for that's your story. That's a hard one to top. Thank you. Right. Thank you. I'll give an audience in, in audience talk. Like I have one crowd fight story. Osborne okay. Lights. I have one too. What was I that? I don't know the beginning of the fight. Even better. But all I know is the empty stroller. One, it was like two families, and the empty stroller was lifted and then thrown towards. <laughs> wow. Thrown wow. towards the other man, and then they were like at each other, and then the cast members were and security were like in there as the stroller flew. They were like, nope. And so. Holy. Yeah. Moly. All I saw was the stroller go up and the stroller go forward. Didn't hit anybody. Uh, but wow. the stroller was launched Jeez Louise. at Osborne Lights. Didn't see the beginning. I don't know why. That's how you make a statement. But launched the so. stroller. Oh, we got wow. another one. From we have another yeah. crowd story. Can I tell someone else's story? Of course. Sure. Is that allowed? Okay, so this is a story about my mother <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. who lived in Orlando in the early 80s uh, and then so did go to the theme park at that time. Um, and she told me the story, This enti my entire, well, both of these stories, my entire child. They're both short, I promise. Um, so it's she, okay, every segment runs long. <laughs> she and her best friend were on the Haunted Mansion, and her best friend dropped her purse on the Haunted Mansion, so they were waiting at the exit uh, for one of the cast members to bring the purse back. And as the cast member was walking up with the purse, uh, John Travolta got off the Doom buggy and exited. What? So my mom and her best friend followed John Travolta around Magic Kingdom until he entered a bathroom, and uh, then they realized they were being creepy. <laughs> <laughs> like, Did oh he enter the bathroom? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. He entered, he entered the men's bathroom, and then both of them went, we should not be doing yeah. this, or so she tells me. That's not where the story ended for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the same day... Later in the day, because I guess everyone was lining up for the parade, uh, my aunt, who was also there, uh, found an abandoned wheelchair and convinced my mother to get in the wheelchair and then ran up Main Street pushing the wheelchair while all these people were lined up to watch the parade, so they just, you know, turned to watch. And then when they got up to the castle, they hit a curb and the wheelchair fell over, and my mom 
climbed out of the wheelchair and just started walking towards the castle. It's a miracle. Like, not looking. Here's the thing. My aunt started screaming, it's a miracle. She can walk. While my mom Ah. just walked mortified up towards the castle. And my aunt laughed so hard she peed herself and Yay, had to go <laughs> wash the shorts wow. out in the bathroom. Oh, I like that. Story. More to your story. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have <laughs> no problem. My mother will never watch this, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> no one will ever watch this. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, funny just, thing is, we have your mother on the phone. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, don't worry, the phones <laughs> don't work. <laughs> yeah, so. right. I just keep thinking of John Travolta in the Haunted Mansion. It's like, like, oh my God. Look There's <laughs> someone. Ron's not joining us tonight, is he? Uh, I don't see. I don't There's a really John. Travolta Haunted Mansion story. Oh. I'll tell Ron's story. Go ahead, Pete. I know you have to leave. No, no, no. no. Get, tell the story. No. It's the same day. no, it's a different story. A, so this is Ron's story. Ron told me this. It's like my favorite story because Ron used to work at Haunted Mansion. Ron was doing Plus Party and stuff with us. Uh, Ron worked on a Mansion and one night, apparently, John Travolta, toward the end of the night, John Travolta gets off. He's with a big group. And apparently, he gets off the doom buggy and they're like fooling around. He runs, so the, the wall straight ahead, he, the doom oh, yeah. buggy goes this way. The wall straight ahead is padded. There's that like padded yeah. bar. Yeah. So yeah. if people it, like yeah. didn't make it, they'd hit this padded wall. He bumps into this padded wall and decides, hey guys, all the walls are padded. Oh. <laughs> John Travolta runs full speed <laughs> into the wall across no. and just hits hard, bam, and is out. Out? The the so the tour guide's like, oh no! And like Rob's standing there going, like I don't know what to do. What? He, he woke up and he believed in Scientology. I don't remember the rest. He was like doing I research think, for Michael. I think they came and checked him. Wow. He was fine, but like he ran into a concrete wall and just hit the floor, and everyone was just like. And that that's wow. the, that's Ron's haunted mansion, John Travolta. Wow. Story. That's so good. Yeah. Um, good. Let's let's uh, bring Tyler in. He's on joining us here. Tyler the man. Tyler the man. Hey Tyler. <laughs> oh, we can't hear him. Oh. Uh, hold on, Tyler. We can't hear you. Come on, Tyler. Tyler, are you <laughs> muted? Have you muted oh. yourself? Uh, there, there you is. are. Hi. I'm not muted. That's there a you. spiffy you. shirt you're wearing. Uh, yeah. Nice Isn't it great? It's a Stay safe figment. And then something about WDWNT. I don't know. Yeah, it's on T yeah. Public. Um, the only place we've I, I ever seen Neil Patrick shirt. Harris wearing it. So yeah. Wow. It keeps uh, the hits just keep <laughs> on coming. <laughs> the hits just keep Ooh. on coming. <laughs> Did you see this too? I don't know. This looks cool. What's yeah, this? Yeah, lots of Anyways, fun. Anyways, uh, my Coronado Spring story has three parts. I will tell the worst part, which is the cockroach part. Uh, uh-huh. Long story short, we got put in Ranchos, which is like the furthest place away from the main building. Uh, they were supposedly renovated rooms, which they all had like just the smell of dust in them, like like sawdust, because it's all made out of wood in there, I guess. Um, so we come back to a room and there's a cockroach, which climbs under our bed and then under like the dresser, which holds the TV. So we, <laughs> this is so late at night too, and we just want to go to bed. So we call the front desk, we're like, is there a cockroach? What should we do? And they go, yeah, we'll call an exterminator. We wait about 25 minutes and this guy comes in and he just pulls the whole unit out and there's like a lock on the end of it. So you can't like steal it out of the room, I guess. And he just like unhooks that. And then the cockroach is just chilling there. He takes out this like sticky pad of paper and just smacks it. Uh and lifts it up and it's still alive and it's just trapped on the paper. No. If you are squeamish, plug your ears right now for like 20 seconds. Go. Okay. He folds it in half and the whole bug just squishes and its guts explode out the side onto my clothes. That oh. I my and then he and then he says, Huh, I've never seen that before. I <laughs> <laughs> <And> just leaves. <laughs> he doesn't apologize. Disney never apologizes to us. No one offers to like give me free laundry service or whatever. He gets back in his and ATV go, and leaves. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> one one <laughs> might say it's tough to be a bug. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Your dad jokes. That's a good one. But yeah, that was that was fun. Wow. Oh, I have two other parts. I'll tell them later. Unless Thank you, you Tyler. 
Okay, who else we got? I guess I have one. Um, okay. This one, this one was kind of embarrassing. I, oh, you know, Jesus. back in my Vinylmation days, right? You know, I, I, Vinylmation days. Oh I no. I would make friends at Vinylmation events, right? Oh no. And so I, <laughs> you know, I made a friend and like, hey, let's go out and, and have a drink at the at, at the Trader Sam's. All right, cool. Oh no. So went went out and had a, had a few drinks, and then we're like, all right, let's go to the Magic Kingdom. Well, I, I had no idea this person had like never drank before in their life, and they had two like huge drinks at, at Trader Sam's. So we they, they they started acting a little weird, and I'm like, you okay? You okay? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And um, <laughs> like start like getting really queasy over by the Jungle Cruise. I'm like, you should go, you know, into the bathroom or something. Like, so we go into the bathroom in the little breezeway there, and uh, I'm waiting, waiting. He's not coming out. And somebody comes running out of the bathroom and says, there's some dude in there, like, making really weird noises in one of the stalls. Oh, Nick's probably, like, not again. That, that's, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's probably mine. So I go in there and you can see his feet, like, sticking out on the bottom oh. of the stalls. And he's just, like, sprawled out there. Oh. So I, I help him up. And I bring them over. I bring them over to the to the. I've never like I've never experienced this before. I have no idea what they can do. What what happens here? So I bring them over to um, the the first aid. Like I, I like help them over down the walkway there, and like they can't do anything. Like they can't. Apparently they like can't actually help him because it's because of alcohol. So like mm -hmm. they 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 won't even like do anything to help. They, they said we could give you a wheelchair and you guys can go out of the park. So I had to like wheel him out of the oh. park. I had to get him to his car. And that was like, you know, I knew he wasn't driving, but like I had nothing else to do with this guy. And so I was like, um, here, uh, you're, you're at your car. Are you cool? And like, he just, I guess he slept in his car that night. Oh. And I like left. <laughs> and, um, it was really weird. It was such a, oh, it was just a weird night. Yeah. It was pretty, yeah. It was, it was not fun. Yeah, that's my weird story. I have a story. Oh, Ooh. hey, Colleen. Hey. I'm a real person. It's Colleen, <laughs> everybody. It's not just a voice. <laughs> so I have a very different tone of story. Ooh. Um, it's not dirty? No. <laughs> okay. It's not. So it was around like 20 years ago. Um, my little sister's favorite character was Daisy. And you couldn't meet Daisy at Disney World at that time. Like, she was nowhere. And we asked, where can you meet Daisy? And a cast member said, Daisy lives at Disneyland. So for our big family vacation in 2001, we went to Disneyland. And it was when Disney California Adventure opened, too. And we went to Disneyland. And we went to the like character counter back in the day before phones. And uh, Shannon had this like full life size, not life size. She was small. It was the giant stuffed animal of Daisy. And, you know, my dad's like, we want to meet Daisy. And the cast member's like, oh, Daisy's in rehearsals for a show right now. So she's not meeting people. And I really vaguely remember my dad pointing at my sister and being like, we came across the country for this little girl to meet Daisy. And the cast member's like, OK, come back in an hour. I don't know what we did for an hour. But we came back. And then they took us to like a special spot to watch the parade. And Donald and Daisy were in their Fantasia 2000 <laughs> outfits as oh, Noah and Mrs. Noah. Wow. And that they walked parade. off the float into a private room with us. Wow. And we got a private meet and greet That's with awesome. Donald and Daisy. It was oh. nuts, but it was awesome. So Stars cool. on parade. That's the the Fantasia <laughs> pomp and circumstance. Was like the whole parade sound. <laughs> and this is Shannon. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> she doesn't remember. They're <laughs> identical <laughs> twins, of course. We're not. We're, we're You're literally wearing the same sweater, right? Or the same color. <laughs> yep, they sure are. So, yep. It was it was nuts though, oh. but it was in a positive way. I like a good positive story that doesn't have vomit in it. Yeah. Or when bathrooms. There are no bathrooms in that one. That was weird. Uh, I have a positive story that has vomit in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> positive vomit story? <laughs> Let's hear it. So my family went on a Disney cruise. And um, <laughs> oh my, boy. 
<laughs> the last day my mother and I got terribly sick. <laughs> it was not the last day. It was about halfway. Okay, whatever. We missed Castaway Key. Um, oh, uh, boy. Like the boat or you? <laughs> we did. I'm just going to keep going. They were, they were quarantined to the room, and so my dad and I went to Castaway <laughs> Key without them. We had a wonderful time. Yeah, uh, I threw up my retainer. That was fun. Um, uh, gee, after this <laughs> cruise, all the boats had hand sanitizer. Um, so it was, you know, bad. We were very sick. We couldn't do anything. Um, the cruise finished. We were covered. My dad got a survey for the cruise. And, you know, he mostly gave it positive reviews. And But then at the end, with extra comments, he was like, but, you know, my wife and youngest daughter did get sick and we missed Castaway Key. And it was kind of a bummer. And I just felt like Disney wasn't very Disney in the way they handled it. Like, they didn't, you know, help us out a whole bunch. So then Dis Disney gave us a free cruise. Whoa. Wow. So it was a seven-day cruise. So they gave Mom and Shannon free seven-day cruises, which worked out to a free four-night cruise for all four of us. Yep. Holy moly. We've been on, like, eight Disney cruises since then. Oh. They man. got us. I've been on zero. That is now the gold <laughs> standard to my dad as how customer service should be. Can Your dad's magic, apparently. True. <laughs> he is magic. No, I've seen him make waiters Disney cry. No, that's yeah, No, true. he's just tall. Oh, that doesn't. I think that's just how they were. I have stories like that. They yeah. gave us free hotel stays and stuff when there was a time um, they lost, between my family and my cousin's family, they lost, apparently, $6,000 in merchandise and package pickups. Wow. I don't know where they went. Um, and they eventually, like, re found the orders they like remade the orders sure. and brought the stuff but they were so it was a grand floridian but uh they were so <laughs> they felt so bad about it that they were like here's here's next time just call this number we'll give you a couple of free nights wow yeah that's awesome yeah huh yeah. Uh, do we know the? Cr go back. To, let's go back to bathrooms first. Are there more people Can waiting to talk? Um, I think J jason wanted to come Does on jason have one? oh okay yeah i have one Hey, Jason. Hey this is a really quick one. Well, semi-quick. Um, this was back when, when Caitlin, my youngest daughter, was first born, and so Angel and I were there. And she was breastfeeding every once in a while, and it was fine. And usually she would go into the baby care center breastfeeding. That was fine. One time she did it on uh, the people mover, which was kind of convenient because people weren't riding on the people mover. It was pretty empty. So I was kind of attuned to breastfeeding at that point in my life. And we're walking over near Pinko's <laughs> Oh, come on. Can we, like, just cut out the line of Jason saying, I was, what was it? I'm attuned, I'm attuned to breastfeeding. I just want to have that clip ready for the future. Stop. I'm sorry. It's good. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue. Stop. Go ahead. And so uh, we're walking over near Pecos Pills, and there's that grassy area next to next to Splash Mountain. And uh, there's a woman sitting there, and she was breastfeeding her son, which is fine. It was kind of an out-of-the-way place to do it. The only problem was her son was like eight years old. <laughs> that is different. Is that the whole story? Yeah. I mean, that's pretty gross. I mean, not gross. I mean, way. yeah, there's things out so, there about that but okay oh boy that is then there was there was also the time tom that you and adam and i were staying in a room at pop century and and adam found the condom under the bed wasn't that Car i thought there was caribbean beach was it Maybe not it was caribbean beach it was one of those two might have been that's when i said i said to somebody on twitter when that story got published i said i have had all those things happen not at the same time the condom story was yeah. your the room the two of you had. Might have been Caribbean. Under the bed, yeah. 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 Huh. yeah. yeah. By under the can we discuss true. that real quick? By under the bed, do you mean under under the bed? Or do here's you mean what happened. Under the sheet. Three of us had a room. <laughs> I had a bed, Jason had a bed, Adam being cheap wanted to sleep on the floor. He just wanted a place to crash. Right. So Adam's on the floor. I think he rolled over at one point. He goes, Jason, there's something under your bed. And he went to reach for it <laughs> and then very quickly oh. realized what it was. Oh. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. I thought I thought he like it was in the sheets. I thought it was like a scene from No, the it was by itself under the absolute middle of bleh. the bed. Bleh. 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 B
Alex right, has get up, one. Get up to the mic. Tell us your story. Or you can come, come up here. here either way. Camera. Or either come way. over here on camera. Okay. I don't know where Colleen put the mic. It's on the ground. Okay. So this is a story of uh, I went to Animal Kingdom with an, another friend. Oh, um, no. <laughs> Did someone I know? <laughs> yeah. Great. <laughs> uh, we went to go see Rivers of Light uh, when they were just premiering the... <laughs> <laughs> the new version. I know this one. Yeah. And um, there was me and uh, me and this friend. We were in line for Fast Pass, and we get into the Fast Pass. We were the first ones there, except for another gentleman that was there, that was in a wheelchair. So he's he's in the front, and we're in the row right behind him. Me and my friend, we sit, and the guy just looks back at us. He goes back to doing whatever it was on his phone, and then. He's looking at his phone, and me and, of course, me and my friend were directly behind him. And we look at his phone, and it's like, what is he, what is he doing? Is he reading something? We, I grab my phone, I turn into CSI, where I basically use the zoom on my phone to go in and enhance. And the gentleman was reading an adult novel <laughs> right in front of us. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I still have the photo of this phone. Here's the thing. I've seen this photo. And the weird thing about that adult novel, at least the story, the narrative's very poor. But beyond that, uh -huh. beyond that. The review's coming soon. Yeah, I hope that guy, yeah, we're I hope that guy <laughs> like the ra Lady in the Tramp review's yeah, gonna. Yeah, more Tramp stuff. So anyway, <laughs> the, the thing though is, it was not even spelled correctly. There were words in it. It's like, it wasn't like official 50 Shades, like, you know, published stuff. This was fan material adult content. It was something from, like, fan fiction. Yeah, it was something else, to say the least. Oh, I thought it was going to be the pants splitting story. Oh, do you want me to tell the orangutan story? <laughs> That's the orangutan story? No, there was once that there was a couple... Uh, we were walking past an Animal Kingdom where they have, like, the monkeys yeah. in Asia. And the the woman is like, oh, look, look, it's the monkeys and the... Is uh, this my story? I don't, I don't. This is my story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told I, this a million times. I've been told this story. I can't tell this one on the air. Oh, yeah. The well, language is really dirty. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I'll tell that one on the post show. What are you stealing my stories for? <laughs> I was I didn't say it was my story, it was That's told true. to me by somebody That's else. My story. Get out of here with my story. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. My ring. I thought you were gonna tell the story about Jose splitting his pants at oh, Animal no, Kingdom. Uh, Did you hear that? Jose split his pants at Animal Kingdom. And so he goes to the store, he's like, Do you have any pants? Oh, They're like, No. He says no, <laughs> and so the manager comes out, he's like, I can't give you pants, but like I could give you a sweatshirt to tie around. <laughs> and so his agent gets his Rivers of Light sweatshirt and ties it around. He goes to the show, his split pants, but with his, oh. his Rivers of Light sweatshirt tied around. Oh, oh it was amazing. Oh my God, I remember being there when he did that. Man. It was hilarious. Did you have a bathroom story? Yeah, We're well, this, is, a, this is of lore. So yeah. I don't. I believe this is true, okay. but correct you. You might know. Okay. Um, but from what I've been told, one time in the I think it was the eighties, uh, someone went into the woman's restroom of the uh, in Tomorrowland, and they found a baby in the toilet. <laughs> what? Someone had given birth to the baby. It was like it was like a, a, a I think it was a an Asian child. So it was like not <laughs> like what the assumption was is like the mother didn't speak English or whatever. Left the child there. The child's fine. Was adopted. You know all of that business. But like yes, a baby has been born in the Tomorrow uh, Land bathrooms uh, at Disney World. So yeah, isn't that wild? That's weird. I know, but I have a more. really immature bathroom story. I don't, I don't know if that mine counts as mature. No. Maybe we should save it for the post show. I want to end on this story. This is the proper story to end on. Okay. All right. The so again those restrooms near the Olaf meet and greet. <laughs> back. I feel hey, like I have to. Yeah, we're yeah, calling back. I have to call back to that. The speaker system in that bathroom is connected to to Jedi Training Academy, and so the music for Jedi Training Academy. <laughs> comes through to the bathroom <laughs> at the same time that the Star Wars theme <laughs> kicks in. You know, Dan, the guy in the stall <laughs> next door, I don't know the polite way to put this, rips one. <laughs> I lose it. 
<laughs> the guy in the stall next to me loses it. I hear like four people <laughs> laughing, but we can't see each other because we're all in separate stalls. And the guy keeps going, and it seems to be to the music, and I just hear people losing it in the bathroom. Oh. Like, all you hear is giggling oh, through man. the whole bathroom, and you know everyone. It's this beautiful thing because no, you know nobody has spoken a word to each other, but everyone's laughing at the same thing. True Disney magic. It is true Disney magic. Everyone, unspoken, knew what we were all laughing at. Oh, boy. And it was magical. Yeah. Oh. Does anyone else have another story? Is that it? I don't I think, think that's, that's it. it. We're good? Yep. That's all the stories. We'll tell some more. I have some dirty ones I can tell on the post show tonight. That's what Wigs members For Wigs members, Dirty yeah. stories tonight. So that's it. Nick, do you feel like we can end the show? Can you <laughs> I do. do. <laughs> and remember, kids, now bundle up, stay warm, and come back and see us real soon. Good night. <laughs>